Okay, welcome again to my channel, Alamat Nilolo. As promised, here is our video on direct variation involving fractions. Watch it. Okay, what is a direct variation? No? So let me give you a simple illustration. No? Supposing we have two variables, x and y. Okay. Now, these two variables represent two different quantities, no? So, in a direct variation, as x increases, your y also increases, okay? And as x decreases, your y also decreases. Ibig sabihin, kapag nag-increase si x, increase din si y. Kapag nag-decrease naman si x, decrease din si y. In other words, they follow the same path, okay? Now, how do we apply this in real-life situation? Okay, let me give you a uh, trending topic ngayon, yung presyo ng sibuyas. No, palagay ko kahit si nanay nyo makakarelate dito sa ating example. Ano? Magkano ba ang presyo ng sibuyas ngayon? Now, based on doon sa huli kong napanood sa news ay 220 per kilo. No? So, the price per kilo, okay, price of onion okay, per kilo is let's say uh, 220 per kilogram okay now let's take a look at the relationship between the price uh, between the cost and the weight in kilogram of an onion ng sibuyas no by making a table of values okay so weight in kilogram okay at saka yung cost okay gawa tayo ng table Okay. Ayan, siguro tatlong columns. Okay na, no? So, ang isang kilo ng sibuyas will cost us 220, right? O, oh, kasi 220 per kilo. Siyempre, 220 ang isang kilo. Now, if the weight in kilograms is 2, kapag dalawang kilo ang binili natin, that would cost us 440, right? At kapag tatlong kilo, that would cost us 660. O ano napansin nyo, di ba as we increase the number of kilogram, nag increase din yung ating binabayaran, di ba? So as uh, this increases, this also increases, di ba? Now, if you look at it in opposite direction, kapag nag-decrease naman yung weight in kilogram, nag decrease din yung ating binabayaran. So that's how a uh, direct variation works, okay? Now, in general, the direct variation is modeled by the equation y is equal to kx okay so ganyan yon no so moving forward let us now uh, take a look at the some of the problems that you might encounter in direct variation okay okay let's take a look at problem number one if y varies directly as x and y is one fifth when x is one fourth find the constant of variation okay so as i said a while ago the uh, direct variation is modeled by the equation y is equal to kx, di ba? By the way, k here is the constant of variation, no? I forgot to mention that. Okay, so how do we solve for k? Kasi yun ang hinahanap natin, no? Just substitute the given values. We have y is 1 fifth when x is 1 fourth, di ba? Okay, so 1 fifth is equal to k times 1 is k over 4. And then we simply cross multiply, no? So 5 times k is 5k. 1 times 4 is 4. And therefore, we divide both sides by 5. k is equal to 4 pips. Yan lang yan, no? We are done. Okay? Okay, number 2. If y bars directly as x and y is 4 pips when x is 1 half, find k and the equation of variation. Now, if you notice, no, puro fractions ang binibigay ko, no, yung mga given ko. Kasi if you recall in my previous uh, video, nabanggit ko na i-discuss ko tong direct variation involving fractions para masanay kayo, no? Now, kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung video na yun, there is a link uh, below the description box, panoorin nyo at siguradong makakatulong yun sa inyo. Okay? So, let's continue. So, again, y bar is directly as x, y is equal to kx. Then, substitute the given values. We have 4 pips when x is 1 half. Okay? 
so four pips is equal to k times one k over two k and then we force multiply dito muna tayo we have five k is equal to four times two is eight and then we divide both sides by five therefore k is equal to eight over five so this is our k now what is the equation of variation the equation of variation is simply this equation na isa substitute natin yung k dito no so y is equal to 8 over 5 is our equation no so ganun lang yun substitute lang yung k okay okay next number if y varies directly as x and y equals 6 when x is 1 half find y when x is equal to 10 again y is equal to kx puro ganun naman yun eh di ba so y equals 6 when x is 1 half so 6 is equal to k over 2 and then we cross multiply lagay ng over 1 kung nalilito kayo k therefore is equal to 12 okay so now what is our equation of variation kasi we need that to solve for y when x is 10 no so y is equal to substitute 12 to k 12x now we have to find y when x is 10 so isa substitute lang natin to dito no y is equal to 12 times 10 or y is equal to 120 so yun ganun lang yun ka simple okay let's go to number 4 if y varies directly as square of x and y is 3 over 20 when x is 1 over 10 find x when y is 3 over 5 okay so solution so since y bar is directly as a square of x ganito na ngayon na magiging equation natin y is equal to k x squared no kasi square yon. okay so substitute the given uh, values we have 3 over 20 is equal to k x is 1 over 10 and then simplify we have 3 over 20 is equal to, oh, square dito, no? K times 1 over 100, okay? So, square nyo yan pareho, no? So, 3 over 20 is equal to, K times 1 is K over 100. And then, again, cross. So, we have 20K is equal to 300. Divide both sides by 20. Drop the 0. So, K now is equal to 30 over 2 is 15. Okay? So, what now is our equation of variation? So, sa substitute lang natin to sa K, hindi ba? So, our equation of variation is Y is equal to 15X squared. So, bakit natin kinawa yung equation? Because we are going to use this equation to solve for X when Y is 3 fifths. Okay? Now, let's do this. We'll substitute y equals 3 pips in the given equation. 3 pips is equal to 15x squared. Diba? And then again, we cross multiply. 15 times 5 is 75. x squared. 3 times 1 is 3. And then we divide both sides by 75. Therefore, x squared is equal to 1 over 25. Now, how do you solve for x kapag naka-square? Di ba? We extract the square root of both sides. Di ba? We extract the square root of both sides. And therefore, x now is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 over 25. Or plus or minus 1 pip. And that's it. Okay? So, medyo mahaba, ano? Pero hindi naman siya mahirap. Okay? Okay, last number. If y varies directly as the square of x, what happens to y when x is double? Okay? So solution so y varies directly as the square of x so ganyan tayo okay now what happens to y when x is doubled now to double x means to multiply it by 2 right so y is equal to k gagawin kong 2x yung x natin kasi sabi niya double no so simplifying further we have k times 4 x squared di ba 2x squared is 4x squared. Now, ilalabas ko yung 4 dito. So, ganyan na siya. Okay? Now, the constant 4 here clearly, clearly shows that 
y is quadrupled, no? As compared to the original, tignan nyo nangyari, di ba? Okay? So, y is quadrupled. And that's it. Okay? Okay, I hope na mas naging confident kayo ngayon in dealing with fractions after watching this video. So, next up would be inverse variation, again, involving fractions. So, if you want to see uh, more videos like this, again, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Bye for now!